sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. decision this one in you for the Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. it makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. This have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? 
Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Get off me! John! What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. That's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that! I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters.
Hold up. You hear that? Shit. Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? It's sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's... Getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Great job. Glad you made it over. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. Someone had to keep John cool after he took off into the woods. Very funny. I'm telling you, there was something grotesque in that hut. There was indeed. Something grotesquely small and harmless. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we?
This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. Wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. talking about get away or he will find me <gasps> oh. 
Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. Shit. I'm real sorry. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. place must have been a grocery store or something. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. Find another way. Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. I'll be as fast as I can. 
If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Come on, will you? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Angela? How the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. Girl, she... she was with this priest. Reverend Carver? The one now beating on our door? Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. George, if this ends badly, if you do not open up, you'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? 
I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not gonna believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that devil stuff, but maybe not. To me, it looked like they were married. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. <sighs> this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. The place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. Real nice.
There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes are my Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of... <laughs> Get off of me! girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder well, you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay. Quiet. We just uh, let this play out. See what happens. I mean, no offense, Reverend Carver. 
I do not believe any of my neighbours. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am scared. correct, your you touch will release her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Uh. Oh. How you doing? Not sure. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. 
We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused, tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. <laughs>